Hi, I'm Amber from the Fresno Chaffee Zoo Summer Extended Learning Program. On today's Home Sweet Habitats, we're gonna check out the desert. So grab your passports, buckle up, it's about to get dry. Today we're gonna to learn about desert habitats. Deserts can be found all around the world, even here in California. A desert can be cold or hot, but they are always dry. Places that get less than 10 inches of rain in a year are considered a desert. The Antarctic Desert is actually the largest desert in the world, but deserts can be found on all of the continents. A lot of times we get a picture of a desert when we imagine an area covered in sand without any plants or any animals, but there are actually a lot of things adapted for life in these dry habitats. Because there isn't much water in the desert, animals that live in this dry habitat get most of their water from the foods they eat. Some animals have unique ways of storing water and food energy. The desert tortoise, found here in California and Nevada, have a diet made up entirely of plants. The desert tortoise stores water that it gets from these plants in its bladder. This water helps to keep the tortoise hydrated on those hot days, but it can also be used as a defense. If the tortoise is picked up and feels threatened, it can urinate a large amount in the hopes that the predator will leave it alone. The leopard gecko, found in the rocky deserts of the Middle East, stores water in a different way. Unlike the desert tortoise, the leopard gecko's diet is mostly insects. Do you see that big, fat tail on the leopard gecko? That tail is like a lunchbox and a water bottle. If it can't find food or water, this lizard can live off the fat in its tail for quite a while. What other animals can you think of that store water? A well-known plant that stores water is the cactus. There are nearly 2,000 different types of cactus, and almost all of them come from North America and South America. Cactuses can store water in their thick stems and are covered in spines instead of leaves. Unlike leaves, spines don't lose water through evaporation. This helps keep the cactus from drying out. The spines also help protect the cactus from being eaten by animals looking for food and water. Even with their spines, some animals have adapted to eat the cactus as part of their diet. Chacoan peccaries from South America use their tough, leathery snout to help them with the prickly task of eating cactus. The peccaries use their nose to roll the cactus on the ground and to break off the spines, making it much easier to eat. Leftover spines can be plucked off with their teeth before they eat. The peccary is then rewarded with a juicy meal. Fennec foxes are from the Sahara Desert in Africa, and they have many ways that they survive in such an extreme habitat. Fennec foxes are the smallest fox. They're only three pounds as adults, and that small, thin body is good when you have a habitat with limited resources. It means that you don't have to eat a lot or drink much water. Most foxes are omnivores and eat some plants as well as insects and other smaller animals. But the fennec fox lives in the Sahara and there are not many plants for it to eat. So they eat a lot of insects. These foxes also have huge ears that cool the blood circulating through them and keep their body temperature from getting too high. Like many desert animals, the fennec fox digs burrows in the ground to avoid the hottest part of the day. The ostrich is the world's largest bird, and although it prefers grassy areas during the wet season, it is able to survive in the very dry African summer in some very special ways. When we look at ostriches, we see that they have long, thin legs and a neck with almost no feathers. This keeps their body up and away from the hot ground and allows the air to blow over their skin and help keep them cool. Ostriches are known for their very large eyes. Their eyesight is good, but if they get sand and dust in them, they won't be able to see at all. So the ostrich has special feathers that act like eyelashes and protect their eyes. Many different kinds of animals live in deserts. Each animal has its own adaptations that help it to survive in dry conditions. Many species, like this Gila monster, store water and dig burrows to stay cool. We may not have a tail to store water like a leopard gecko, but there are a lot of ways that humans can help save water. Can you think of any adaptations that we saw today that people could copy to help reduce our own water use? I hope you had fun learning about all of our desert plants and animals. 
Next week, we're gonna go to the rainforest.